Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, September 14th, 2023 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, as I expand in my presence, my wellness also expands. And alternately, <laughs> the energy mantra could easily be, if you want to kiss the sky, better learn how to kneel. So today we have the new moon in Virgo. The new moon is happening right on the edge of 21 degrees. Uh, just almost there at 22, but it's hanging in at 21, a degree of expansion. Um, it's happening at 6.40 p.m. Pacific time. It is in the sign of Virgo. And as I was listening to music before I was actually even preparing to do the scope, um, that song came on, Mysterious Ways, and that line hit it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the vibe of the new moon. Um, I've explained this before, but I think it bears just a little bit of a reminder explanation. Interestingly, when... The sun is in a sign, so in Virgo, the earth is actually in its opposite sign. So those polarities, the polar opposites, are always engaged together, balancing each other. I think that line is such a balance of earth and heaven and the creation of heaven on earth. And so the line, if you want to kiss the sky, if you want heaven. Better learn how to kneel. Better learn how to attend to the present. I gotta learn to remind Alexa to keep the lights on. Hold on. Alexa, turn main light 100%. Okay. Spite light back on. All right. <laughs> so this is a reminder, this new moon, to be taking physical steps on earth in your present reality that make you want to kiss the sky, <laughs> that feel like heaven on earth. And each of us have this opportunity to do so. We are all here working together to create a better world. And I know it can feel hard when, you know, it's like you're in a boat and water's coming in and you're like, pulling the water out and you feel like others are putting the water back in. And I think right now the world, Earth, can feel a little bit like that. However, I have to say, you've got big buckets that you're taking the water out with. And anybody who's putting water in the boat, tiny little buckets. So while it's a little bit of a cha-cha, you have to know you're on the winning team. Speaking of team, the Sabian symbol for 21 degrees Virgo, which is where the new moon happens, is a girl's basketball tree. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Mercury is retrograde for one more day. <laughs> a girl's basketball team. Um, and it just talks about group integration. And to me, this is a reminder. We're all in, in this together. But the saving symbol for Virgo, 22 degrees, which it shifts to just minutes after the new moon. Um, a royal coat of arms enriched with precious stones. And this speaks of nobility. But the truth is, we are all noble beings. We are all uh, children of God, children of the Most High, children of Source Universe. We are made of stardust. We are sparkling, beautiful beings here in this maybe not always so glamorous earth energy, but working with this earth energy to bring back our sparkle selves, to bring back the sparkle, to bring back the heaven to this, to this realm. So this is the work. <laughs> this is the work. And sometimes the work is, I, I was thinking of, um, uh, I can't think of what the deck, name is, but it's by Colette Baron Reed. And one of the cards is chop wood, carry water, doing those daily tasks that fulfill 
the mundane duties to help keep that balance and also to remember those times where you kneel and kiss the sky. What makes life better for you? How can you engage with that in your present? How can you engage with heaven in your present? Is it spending time with your your cats? I have I have an audience of cats sitting here waiting for me to get up off my little area so they can take it over. Um, is it talking to your plants? Is it working in your garden? Is it painting? Is it your creativity? When you are being you, when you are being 100% you, what are you doing? Are you sitting here in meditation just being? But what are the moments of doing that are kneeling so you kiss the sky? So beautiful. Such a beautiful concept. Now, while I wish that was the only piece of this new moon, it is not. This new moon is also connected to Uranus. Uranus is at 22 degrees. So let's see, it looks like about two hours, two after hours after the peak of the moon, we have the moon connecting to Uranus and the sun connecting to Uranus later on Friday. Uranus is that evolution, revolution planet. It is breakdown, breakthrough. It is liberation through electricity. <laughs> it is a challenging energy to work with. Yes, its goal is that liberation, but liberation can come at a cost. It can be challenging. We have to face, we have to face our stuff. We have to face the stuff that comes out of Uranus, right? Okay, <laughs> I'm five. Um, what I would say is take your time, be cautious today because Uranus can induce accidents when we're not slow down and connected and present, right? Um, but Uranus brings forth the triggers that need healing. Now, I love that this, the sun and the moon progress right to 22 degrees, right after the new moon, bringing us to that master degree and bringing us to that connection with Uranus. And so holding space for your wellness through your present by noticing what's coming up. What do I need to face? Now, here's the piece of uh, Virgo that I haven't brought forth yet. Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is mental. Virgo can have a very mental field that needs to be addressed in all this. How is your mind supporting your process of creating heaven on earth? My mind is very histrionic at times. My, my Mercury is in Scorpio. Oh my gosh, and I have learned more about that this year than ever before. <laughs> um, I have to be very focused with my mind because if I am not, it will go to the deep dark places and it wants to stay there. I need to have discipline with my thinking, with my worry. Um, watch your mind. Watch your mind, how it is supporting your process of creating heaven on earth. And here we have the existence card, which is the magician card, which is a card of the power of your mind, the power of your being, your beingness to create. And we're creating a transformational experience altogether. This is the death card. There is something that needs to be released. So hopefully you watched yesterday's scope where I had a challenge. Like what can you release with the law of use in this energy? Release some things to allow some new energies in, in, in this alignment with heaven on earth. We have the slowing down card. Take it slow. Take it easy. The moon, it's interesting because the moon is actually connecting to Jupiter early, early, early in the day. And then Uranus later in the day. Both of these energies in Taurus, bringing our attention to Earth, bringing our attention um, to the ground, to nature. So to our worth, to beauty as well. But making that connection today will support your process. I'm very distracted watching an ant who just 
walked in the door. So what's ant medicine? Doing the things, go, getting to work. I always feel like ants are always working, right? Like, it's like, where do you need to show up and do this work? Where do you need to chop the wood, carry water? Maybe it's a spiritual call, but maybe it's working in your house. Maybe it's working in your garden. Only you can really identify that energy. Um, now, Mercury, like I said, it's going direct tomorrow, but it's maybe a last day of shenanigans. Also, we've been talking about Eris and the North Node, and that exact conjunction is like coming in fast. So watch for you where you find yourself pendulum swinging back and forth, indecision. This is a call to find the heart of the matter. Find the heaven of the matter. What is heaven for you? Alignment with that. We also have the lover's card. What do you love? If all else fails, <laughs> drop into the love. Love for another, love for yourself, love for the pet, love for your planet, love for heaven on earth, love for Jesus, love for God, universe, love for your clothes, love for yourself, love for pizza. Drop into the love <laughs> to help you bring that focus, to help you bring that alignment in and through these energies. So I'm going to leave that here for today. You can book a reading with me. Eclipse readings available now. Holy cow, we're one month out from our second set of eclipses as of this new moon energy. Um, so book a reading for that. It is in, the first one's in Libra, the second one is in Taurus. Uh, besides that, better gets the better gets there's more than an, um, there's more than enough love in the world for you so lean into the love because it is there uh, if I don't say it all at once and then my brain is just like what <laughs> um, you've got the power and remember who you are namaste